Music Man. The great Rodrigo and Rini present a shadow spectacular. The Hospital Operation. <laughs> Gentlemen, this week we present a magical illusion entitled The Hospital Operation. All I require to get our performance underway is one volunteer from the audience to be our patient. Somebody to be our patient, please. Do I see a volunteer? Anybody? Nobody? Nobody, no operation. Nobody, no operation. Come along, it's totally painless. Come along, it's totally painless. So I'll do it myself. So I'll do it myself. What? Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I myself will undergo this operation. This is a story about a girl and her shadow. It's a shadow play. It was not a good Saturday. In fact, it had been a very bad one. Anna was alone in her garden. Already half the day had passed, and still there was no one to play with. Except her own shadow, that is. I wish, I really wish you'd do something, said Anna. 
not just lie there. Anna rubbed her eyes. It seemed to her that her shadow had moved. Yes, her shadow was moving. Hello, said the shadow. Hello, said Anna. It's more polite, continued Anna, to look at people when you're talking to them, not to turn your back all the time. Anna moved a little closer. It's also polite, said Anna, not to walk away when you're being talked to. Why are you so small, continued Anna. You're really very small indeed. It's true that I'm small, said the shadow. But you must meet my sisters. They come in all sizes. Anna blinked. When she looked again, standing next to her were three shadows. I'm pleased to meet you all, said Anna. There are so many more of us, said her friend. In fact, so many more that we've never really counted all the family. I have a sister for every second of the day, and we change places whenever you blink your eyes. We have to, you see. We have to keep up with the sun. That really can't be right, thought Anna. But she didn't like to question it. In any case, she couldn't think of any better explanation as to how her shadow grew in size. By now, it was late into the afternoon. The sun had dropped low in the sky. It's my turn now, said the tallest shadow, and lay down in front of her. Can't we talk a bit more, said Anna. But there was no answer, and as she spoke, the clouds that had been building up all afternoon blotted out the sun, and the tall shadow, in her turn, disappeared. I wonder where shadows go on cloudy days, thought Anna, as she went to tea. You guess. Quite hard. One. 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 Five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Counting in fives. Just like this machine. Wash, 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 wash,
Halves and halves of halves. Hello, what's this? Well, what I want you to do is connect another pair of numbers with an arrow that means the same thing. Ah, same rule. Mm -hmm. Where do I start? Any way you like. Uh, oh, I see, yeah. Now, two threes are six, so two fours are eight. How's that? Uh, well, it's right, but my numbers are getting smaller. Oh, yes. Oh, well, that's easy enough. Excuse me. Half of six is three, so half of eight is four. Um, well, that's right again, but um, my rule has nothing to do with halving. It's much simpler. Oh. Oh, well, um... Something else altogether? Mm-hmm. Uh, ah, got it. Six... Subtract three is three, yes? Yes. So it's subtract three. <laughs> that's right. Uh, oh, well, I'll start at 13 then, that's easy. 13 subtract three is 10. Uh, 10 subtract three. Uh, seven, it's down there. Uh, four subtract three, one, there it is. How's that? That's great. Mm. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're gonna fill in the rest. Shall I? Where shall yes. I start? Uh, Twelve. Yeah. Twelve? Yeah. To nine. And nine. Three. Oh, to six. What's that one? Any more? Um, about, about eleven. Yes. Yeah. 